morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kako coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be taking you through the Tempest Keep attunement process. Now, this video is going to be very long, very detailed, and I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do along each step of the way to get your attunements. So we're using an add-on called Attune here, and so... Um, as you can see, I have quite most of them that have been in Classic WoW thus far. And so we click on the eye, and it starts here in Shadowmoon Valley um, at Shadowmoon Village. And it's talk to this person who's at the uh, top I of the village expect. inside a tower here. And they have you go to this place. Um, pretty much you just follow this quest chain, um, but to give you an example of how long this quest is we keep looking and looking and looking here this then splits into these three things lots of solo quests here and then even after you get the Cadgar, you then have to do Thralmar heroics lower city heroics scenario expansion heroics and shatar um heroics and then that gives you the key and then you have to do something special inside of each of those heroics in order to get it and then you have to even kill mag Theridin, and then you can go to tempest keef it is an absolutely bonkers quest line super long covers everything in the game it's nothing like uh Serpent Shrine Cavern, which is just kill Nightbane and kill Gruul, and then you're just ready to go. Um, you can actually start this part at 68, but a lot of these quests are very long. And then, of course, you need 74 the heroics. So it's pretty freaking crazy. Um, but let's just get started right here. You know, we're doing the first part of that, and let's run to here. Um, I would recommend you can do this part at 68 because you know it's something you have to do might as well get xp for it same with your karazhan ones but you do hit roadblocks and so i don't know how difficult this is going to be this is my first time doing it if i'm being honest so we just have to sort of take a look and see what we're going to be doing i will say having epic flying is a lot more effective i do have the gold to buy it but i just i just can't justify it just yet you know i'm using a lot of my gold to get much better um enchants gear and things like that personally but anyway guys let's get into it and we're gonna sort of see what the next step is right here so we are turning in hand of gul dan um he wants us to use this totem here and get um um earthen souls and fiery souls so i believe we have to use it on these enraged spirits which are going to be here so that's pretty much what you do um i'm not sure if it's after they're dead or before them but yeah this is a pretty big farm for fire people or for people doing fire so you got to be careful with that and then we place that totem on the ground then we kill this earth and then there is the soul. So that's pretty much what you guys do. You gotta get eight of each. Um, and they drop nice smokes, so that's pretty good for you guys. So you pretty much do that. That was an example of an earth. The totem does seem to stay alive. There's a fire one that we need to get. So you pretty much put the totem down and then you just sort of kill these mobs. It doesn't look like the little ones actually um, count towards the soul, unfortunately. So just make sure of that and then the fire ones you're just gonna be killing uh independently so put the thumb down blast these elementals you need eight of each and then we'll get to the next step so anyway guys i'll see you when we get there Whoop. Alrighty, guys so after you get those um earth and fire um elementals you turn that in and then you come here and you have to get these water elementals which are here within the uh coil scar point now these water alleys are surrounded by a lot of naga so you have to be very careful that you do not pull them and make sure that you get them but similar process here so we're gonna land here and then we just sort of fight these guys um they are water alleys so that means i'll be unable to uh you know use my frost spells as a frost mage here so we're just going to uh kill them the normal way and i didn't even put my totem down but it does look like that oh nope unfortunate so make sure you put that totem down guys don't make that mistake like i did um it can really uh, bite you in the butt if you don't but just a few fireballs to cast we get that spirit and bam that's one of five so that's pretty much all you're going to be doing for this 
Um, but just uh, be aware, be alert, make sure you don't pull too many extra things because you can get very overwhelmed very, very quickly in here. But anyway, we're going to then pull uh, these and we'll get to the next step momentarily. See you then. Woo! Alrighty, guys. So if you could have guessed by now, the next thing we're going to do is collect these wind elementals. Um, they're all over here in the nether wing fields. You got to watch out for a lot of these guys, but... Um, one is also a really good spot to get your primal airs if you need them. But you just come here, you place your totem down, you get kill ten of these guys, and you get ten souls just really quickly. Um, they do appear to be on hyper spawn if there's a lot of people here farming them. Um, as you saw, that one just kind of respawned right after we killed it, so you don't have to go too far for these guys. It's a really good source of it. And yeah, so you just kill 10 of these and then we'll head to the uh, next uh, location to sort of see what we have to do with that. But anyway, guys, we're gonna get to that killing and I will uh, see you guys after we get to the next part. So see you then. Ooh. Alrighty guys, so after you kill the um, 10 air alleys, you come back here yet again. And then you're tasked with heading over to here to turn in this torn heart. Now this is actually one of the last quests of this starting chain. Once we get sort of down here, um, we have to do the rest of these and then we go to Khadgar and that's when we'll start to get to the heroics. But you know, we've made a decent progress getting all these elementals. This is a good question to do if you're leveling too because it's just a lot of things that you can do. Um, once you get to here, it looks like this is where it becomes no, it doesn't become level 70. You just have to kill a level 70 uh, orc, it looks like. So that's where it sort of uh, gets a bit harder, it feels like, maybe. But we're flying over the coral fang that we were just at. And, you know, we are headed to the next location here of turning in this heart. It looks like it's on top of that. Okay, so it actually is on top of this, guys. So it's huge that we made that decision instead of going under. Because that would have been very bad if we uh, didn't... Um, so we have to take that and get that. What does he have for sale? So he sells some interesting things. But anyway, that next quest, we're just going to use a boar whistle to dig up some Shadow Moon um, tubers. So. Alrighty, guys. So we're here um, at the tuber part of this quest. So this part is so freaking obnoxious. So you have to protect these boars. Um, the boars are targetable by you for one, so you have to be very careful not to AoE so the boar doesn't aggro to you and try to kill you as well. Um, so as you can see, that boar is free. And then the next step is you have to look for a tuber that has a boar within its range. Um, unfortunately, like all these uh, boars are dead over here and a lot of these flayers that have killed them all and it's very unfortunate because we need to find boars that are safe next to tubers that we can blow this whistle to get um, I'm not really sure the respawn rate of boars how we sort of do this um, I would love to show you guys it but we we have this boar right here this boar might be close enough maybe to a tuber um, this one's fighting right here so like you gotta make sure that these boars do not die to the best of your abilities, but they're level 68s fighting level 65, so it's kind of hard to ensure that they don't die. So like we saved that boar there, but unfortunately there isn't a two very close enough to it, which sucks. Okay, right here, this boar and this tuber right here. All right, so we found one. Obviously, doing this quest with other people here is gonna prove to be quite difficult as well. Um, and once again, careful not to use AOE. So now we're standing on that, we use that whistle, and now this boar is going to dig up this tuber. So this is a good boar right here. He's going to get a lot of tubers for us, and hopefully um, it all works out nice and easy. So there we go. We got a tuber that we can pick up. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you're going to do this quest. Uh, you need 10 of them, so good luck. Um, as you can see, if it's on a populated server competition, this could be rather annoying and obnoxious for you to do. But... You know, just find a boar, use it, be careful that you don't hit up them or attack them, because both of those could be very, very bad. But anyway, guys, that's it for this segment. I'll see you after we get the rest of these tubers. Alrighty, guys, so after you get those tubers, which best of luck to you, that was so obnoxiously bad, you have to then come over here and destroy some eggs, which this should not be hard at all. Um, as you can see, the eggs are just there on the ground. 
Um, definitely looks a lot better than uh, these tubers. Um, we're gonna kill these two and then hopefully we just destroy the egg. Self-explanatory, nothing too bad. Um, I definitely say watch out for that monarch because she is level 70 and probably supposed to kill you if you uh, mess with the eggs. So just be on the lookout. Make sure you're uh, watching for that pat as you come here to destroy these eggs. But anyway, guys, pretty simple. Destroy the eggs, then we'll head back for the next part. So I'll see you when we get there. Alrighty, guys. So we killed all those eggs. Much, much better. Um, we're turning this in. And then we will see what we have to do next. Um, it is going to be listen to his story and speak with him to begin his story. All right, so we have to listen to his story. Um, blah, blah, blah. If you like the lore, guys, definitely, uh, you know, read this. But, you know, there it is. We're done with that. Now we have to do... This is where it splits into three parts. We have to go to all these parts and do all three of these quests. So there's the first one, there's the second one, and I don't even know where the third one is. I do not see it on my map. Oh, there it is, it's at Illidari Point. So we're just gonna go with uh, Grom Tour, the first one, because it is the closest. We can go ahead and look at our tune and sort of see which is the order, and as you can see, this one is pretty easy. We just come here and do that, and I think we just get it. Second one's a bit, um, our tour is a bit uh, longer, but you know, it's kind of in order of this triangle that I'm sort of gonna do. So that's what I recommend doing. Um, pretty much just go talk to this guy and he gives it to you. Pretty easy. So we're gonna head here and do that, guys, and then we will head to the second guy. If there's anything else, I'll let you know. So I'll see you when we get there. Voop. Alrighty, guys. So we had to kill um, some Nagas here to get a chest key, and then you open the chest key. And there you go, you get the first fragment of uh, damnation. So that's pretty good. Um, no, first fragment of the cipher of damnation. Sorry. So that's super simple. Um, I actually got a key while we were killing those water alleys from one of the guys we killed. I don't know how rare it is, but it could be pretty freaking quick for you. Um, you'll just have to sort of see. Um, but anyway, that's it. Um, we sort of do that. Um, let me take this back to the farm. I wouldn't recommend doing that part until after you do the rest because each of them is going to tell you to take it to the farm. So that's just something I would do. And now we're going to get back on our ground mount because I do think it will be faster to head to Eladari Point. So that's what we're going to do, guys. And I will see when we get there. Whoop! Alrighty, guys. So you head here and you talk to this guy. He's sort of floating in the air. Flying makes this really easy. If you do not have flying, then this could be pretty freaking difficult for you. Um, then he has you come right up here, um, and you have to slay this person to get the key, and I believe the key is what frees him. So, while it is another step of quests, it's not the end of the world. Watch out, there are stealth things, as well as, um, quite a lot of, uh, just named mobs here that can hit pretty freaking hard, so just use your brains, guys, pay attention, because there's a lot of hostile mobs here, even if you just fly right up, so that I'd hate for you to come here, try to fight it, and just die, like, I am a near full, I'm a very geared mage doing this quest, and they're taking me down quite a bit, so just something to, uh, be aware of and make sure you uh, play around all this stuff but not too hard this is designed to be sort of leveling uh, material as well as sort of I'm not I'm not exactly sure because this is 68 so it doesn't become 70 till we get to Khadgar so this is just a pretty long chain I would definitely recommend doing this 68 uh, 70 this would be a hard part of it but you know most classes have something that allow them to just sort of like fly around do it something like that so he says that and then he wants you to get that bow um, as you can see I have sort of been dismounted so not even the flying mount can sort of save you here um, so we're gonna do our best to sort of live here but anyway the next part of the quest is to find the bow which I'm not exactly sure um, it's something that drops. Okay, so it drops from one of these mobs. So, actually, pretty good that we aggroed all of them and can 
uh, AOE them down like so. But, you know, it is very scary, so hopefully one of these guys gives us the bow we're looking for, but if it doesn't, then we'll just have to see. Alrighty, so after killing all those guys, none of them dropped it, so let's just continue to kill them here. Someone's bound to have it. Um, but anyway, that's what you do. So I'll see you guys after we get that bow. Alrighty, guys. So after you get the bow, you then come up here for a like spirit quest. It's just a little bit up the road. And you have to kill uh, this boss guy. He doesn't hit hard, but he has quite a lot of health. And there are a lot of mobs in the area. So you have to definitely watch yourself. You do not want to end up doing something like me right here. Where we're fighting like seven mobs at once again. Although I could do it, it's very uh, risky, and then this, um, you'll not be able to ask from this uh, aid until 10 minutes, so make sure you don't die here, guys, and fail this quest like I look like I'm attempting to do, because this dude helps a lot for this. But after we kill this um, squid thing, we get the second cipher. Um, we turn that in and then he will tell us to bring it back to the camp and then we can move on to the third cipher So I'm gonna go do that turn it in third cipher is quite long So we're gonna do that chain and then I will sort of be able to tell you guys exactly what we're gonna do with that And then onward to the next step. So I'll see you when we get there Alrighty guys, so after we come here, we have to go over here and get some rotten Arakoa eggs so as you can see we can uh, sort of just finagle our way in here we got an egg that we can grab. Uh, watch out for these owls and other creatures. There are quite a bit. I don't know if it's just as simple as grab this egg, but it might be. We'll see. We're going to grab this egg and head back to the guy, I think. Okay. Well, that was surprisingly easy, guys. So we're able to get this egg, and then we can uh, head back to the guy that we just did it at. Oh. So then we have to deliver it um, to someone uh, in uh, chat. So we get that egg, then we have to teleport here. So that's what you do. You get the egg, teleport to chat, harp to chat, or I guess run back at a flight path to chat. Whichever is easiest for you. Then we turn in that quest, and then I will uh, sort of see what we have to do next, guys. So I'll see when we get there. So we gave him the egg, and uh, well... I'll just, you know, not tell you guys, it was pretty funny what happened. Um, but after that we get the uh, quest to then take the egg right back where we came from. Um, I don't know why that's in there, but it's just funny, I guess. Um, pretty interesting, so we just pretty much, are, I am Scryer, so I can actually fly right to the Sanctum of the Stars, turn it in. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely worth watching and paying attention to if you watch nothing else in this uh quest chain i wish i was capturing it but maybe it's better that way for you guys to see the spoilers but anyway we're gonna fly to the sanctum of stars um if you're not horde then you definitely if you're not scryer or horde um you get alliance so you can go to wild hammer stronghold which is really close to it so anyway i'll see you guys after we get there Alrighty, guys so after flying back talking to that dude he has you come over here and he gives you a bundle of blood thistle to place on the ground and it's I think it summons a courier or something so there is the courier right there we have to watch out for his bodyguard that might be pretty challenging I'm not exactly sure what this does um, whether the thistle knocks the guard out or what but anyway we're doing that we'll see how this sort of unfolds and what it leads to Oh, that dude aggroed the bodyguard, so I'm not entirely sure what happened here. Um, looks like he might have broke my quest, which would be very sad. Oh, oh, okay. So he sends him away to return to that? So be careful for people doing that. My blood thistle disappeared, but I guess it spawned the guy. Alrighty, so the elite disappears. Uh, 
Alrighty, so he thought he got it, so that's good. But this guy is pretty easy to kill. Don't worry about that elite. That was a bit weird. Oh, look at that. He actually dropped the green BLE. That's pretty cool. Um, but then we come back here, turn this quest in. I like this. After going to chat, you just have to, you know, cross a bridge. I thought that dude running across the bridge might have uh, sort of ruined that for me, but he didn't. Um, and now we have to come up here and get some armor um, from these blood elves. So just make sure you come up here, kill them. These guys actually do hit pretty hard. Um, they're constantly getting buffs and stuff and their mages, so just be careful with it. Make sure you're using your brains, but you just got to kill anything that says um, Epsilon, uh, whatever. Kill them, and then you can sort of loot them and hope you get the armor. But anyway, guys, that's sort of it for this section. And we'll get the armor, and then we will head to the next part of this. And I'll see you when we get there. Whoop! Alrighty, guys, so we are back here at the Shadow Moon Shuffle. And we can turn in uh, that quest after killing the armor. Um, it says what Illidan wants, Illidan gets. Um, that's a very interesting quest line. Um, so we have to do that. Um, so we have to deliver this. So take his disguise. So there is uh, the disguise, I think. Oh, here's the disguise. So we're going to use this disguise. We're going to rock up there and we're going to sort of talk to the guy. So we're gonna use that, and so these mana worms see us, but it does not look like the others do. So make sure you dodge these. Uh, I guess dragon hawks. I call them mana worms. I'm not entirely sure if we can use spells and keep the disguise. So I'm just going to manually run up. Um, I don't see a point in sort of testing that because I would hate to, you know, use the spell and break my disguise it doesn't really say what it does so pretty much we're just gonna run up here not even gonna blink anything like that we just run up here talk to this guy um, and it will sort of see what we do so this will be an interesting uh, little quest here he has some Ill fell orcs Illidari slayers they're pretty scary but here is Grand Commander Ruisk um, full tier three warrior stuff. The reckoning is at so, hand. So just some um, a message from Illidan that we're delivering. So as you can see, we did cast a spell and it does transform us. So be careful, guys. We would definitely recommend not doing that and just walking it. We're gonna turn this in, and then we are nearly done with all that. We will have to kill a five man guy is what it says so we'll have to see if we can do that um maybe we can i don't know and then we'll get the last one and then we'll head to chat and then we'll have the heroic section of this video so it should be pretty uh nice but that's definitely the introductory section i might make this two parts i haven't completely decided yet um because it's already pretty long for this half um but anyway that is it, and we will head to uh, kill that five-man guy in a moment. So I'll see you when we get there. Voop. Alrighty, guys. So here is Raul the Darkener. Um, he definitely is pretty freaking hard. He wrote, he passed along this pattern path. As you saw, he sort of just flew in right there. Um, and so um, we're about to kill it right here. And so, yeah, it's... Do not try to solo him. He will absolutely clap us. Um, he definitely destroyed us here a little bit ago. So I'm just going to, you know, do some damage into him. And uh, we will, you know, kite accordingly. Let our fellow comrades also damage him. Sort of see what can come out of that. The shaman can heal us. So I'm not too worried about him. I think we have him with the bloodlust full CDs. Um, but we'll have to see because be very careful. He does a ton of damage on you. Um, yeah, as you can see, I died, but we might have got him low enough to get the kill, which hopefully will be very, very good for us. Um, oh, come on, guys, go, go, go! Nice. Okay, so we killed him. Um, his Drake uh, is still alive, but he died, so we can loot him. That's the most important part. 
looks like you don't have to kill the drake and if you are scryer you're right here and can respawn so definitely important guys um we didn't have a tank we did it with a warlock and a uh ellie sham and a frost mage so that's pretty much all we did to fight him um and his drake is still right there for us to uh sort of finish and get back to so there's the drake dying doesn't really do much this guy has dual wield thunder furies that's pretty cool um but yeah we were able to get that done now we're going to turn the quest in and then we will be able to head back turn in all three fragments and then we're off to chat so i'll see you guys when we get there Voop. Alrighty, guys so we have made it back here we're going to turn in all three of these quests um you know get some gear i guess we'll take that spell power gear might be something good um then we'll turn in the shaggy one uh, i guess we'll take that helmet could be oh actually that cape uh, now we'll go with the helmet why not um, and then we will turn in the third piece of this and we'll get the shoulders. Holy crap. Those are like actually better than my rhyme cover. Like pretty freaking good. Obviously those have the enchant on them, but if they didn't, these would be one more spell power. Um, yeah, wow. Those are actually kind of nuts. Um, but anyway, you do that, and then we have to summon this Fire Lord guy at the Altar of Damnation right down there. So that is the last and final part of this quest chain. Alrighty, guys. So it's actually pretty cool when someone casts this cipher. He's doing it right now. The screen actually shakes. Like we're doing something uh, kind of nuts to uh, spawn it. Uh, but as you can see, we do this causes an earthquake um, and then it spawns that guy so that's pretty uh, interesting um, really cool that they add these sort of shaking effects um, and that is the guy we have to kill thank god we have a warrior here we got a full party this time and hopefully we can kind of clap him and it'll be easy but we will uh, have to see. I'm not exactly sure what we are going to have to do to fight him. But we will uh, definitely do that. We're actually going to get a screenshot of that. And that is going to be the uh, thumbnail, I think, for this first part to get attuned. Because I think this sort of sums it up, being in Shadowman Valley the entire time. This quest line, uh, this is the first half all the introductions and then we will have the second half um pretty uh timely uh, i'm not sure why he is unable to be attacked right now but we'll have to uh sort of see if we're missing something or not oh we have to come over here and talk to these guys Alrighty, so that's what you have to do, guys. Um, we have to talk to them and get ready to for them to sort of free them. Alrighty. You know, you can never have too many pictures. But we are getting in here to sort of fight him now that he is free. And oh my lord, he has a lot of HP. So definitely make sure you have a five man and your tank is freaking built so this guy is no joke like what the heck this should, I feel like this should be a raid we're gonna go ahead and ice block you know not really watching my threat too much we're just sort of pumping all of our spells into him we will uh, pop in Viz here do a complete and total threat drop I think that's the best play for me right now. And now we can continue to pump. But yeah, wow, this is actually like a pretty big boss. Like we have a Warlock, Shaman, Ellie. Like we got the full spell cleave comp right now. Like this spell cleave team, I guess a Paladin for a Warrior would be better. But this is just absolutely bonkers set that the current segment so we can see the damage we're doing oh 
no. We got him. Bam. We slayed him. That big hunk of green rock is down. So, you know. Pretty freaking challenging, but we got it done, and we can turn this in. You get actually pretty good items. Like, if you need a staff, pure int, pretty freaking good right there. Um, you can also take these to sell, and then you also get a fire resistance uh, neck piece right there. And then there are all the spirits right there, nice and freed. And I believe we get a quest to uh, go to Khadgar, so... That's pretty neat, um, and that's sort of what we get for the next part of this quest line. So after you do that chain, really freaking cool, awesome to see. And yeah, anyway, that's it, guys. So, you know, pretty interesting indeed. So I hope this helps you guys on your quests for Tipus Keep, getting it into that. This is going to be part one um, because this is just so long. It'd be like a 50-minute video to highlight all the pieces. Um, part two will definitely be um, quicker. This just looks like a really good place to sort of uh, stop and show you guys all that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.